Okay. What do we have here? Well, today I got this lovely package in the mail um, from my friend Leah, and she sent me a sample package of her tonics. And usually Donald's the one getting samples, but I got some today, so that was a pleasant surprise. <laughs> now, this is... I kind of took off the little bubble wrap, but this is her sample package that she sent me with her video... her... not video card... business card. Let's see what we got here. Yeah. Okay, we got Tree Lemon. Sweet So Haven this is Wendy's tonics. daughter-in-law. Dot com. Sweet Haven tonics.com mm -hmm. and then she sent some suggested recipes and i know she's been um working on her tonics for quite some time she started during the pandemic and uh, made a career out of it and she was able to um pursue it full time so she's not a teacher anymore hmm. yeah so um well yeah, so it's exciting for her. I, I don't know a lot about them, but I've been curious to try them. So this is really exciting. Well, let's get one of these And puppies. yeah, I'd like to try them because it might be a good Christmas present. It's already almost All right, so October. you keep on wrapping. Okay. And we'll do some ginger, lime, peppercorn, lemon, basil. Lavender, spice, cherry, orange. Can you get a? What does it say for the ounces on the bottle? <sighs> These are two ounces, which is equivalent Grape to two fruit, drinks. Mint and rosemary, pineapple, turmeric, gelatino, mm -hmm. and then a a uh, general outline of a recipe. According to this sheet, is one ounce tonic, one ounce of your spirit, four ounce sparkling water, which would give you a six ounce drink. And so you're right, if these are two ounce bottles, that would be two drinks mm -hmm. per uh, bottle. So there's some recipes too that she uh, provides and some include basil and rosemary. So we might make up uh, a couple of these and give them a taste. Yep. <laughs> Wait, so this one on the right here is the rhubarb fizz we're trying. Oh, but in the sample pack there wasn't rhubarb, so we substituted lemon, basil, and lavender. And that's the recipe. And then I believe Leah has suggested rolling the herbs around a little bit to release i don't know flavor or something sure. i feel like i've seen that oils yeah and so we'll do the we don't probably need so we're all. making two different drinks with two different mm -hmm. tons i think this is the greyhound yeah and she does have actual suggested these are suggested recipes but um you can do what you want what yeah it seems Pretty like you can do whatever you want. We sampled it, um, just the tonic itself. Um, it was pretty flavorful. And I know she drinks them, or her customers drink them just with soda water, too, if they're not feeling like alcohol. Um, yeah. Give it a taste. Okay. Okay. And this is lemon basil lavender. It's yummy. And we added, delicious. and also, I don't know if we said or not, it's an ounce of gin mm -hmm. and an ounce of tonic and about four ounces of sparkling water. Yes. Yeah. Does it taste different than other things you've drank? Yeah, I think so. Um, obviously, when you think of tonic, you think of like the Schweppes tonic water. Mm. This is absolutely not anything like that um, which is neutral right and you use that to make your own drinks maybe i'll give this one it's too. not sweet or anything like that it's pretty i guess i don't know what the but it's sweet haven isn't it are. yeah it is well i don't know there's a slight it's very aromatic yeah it is 
yeah, it's a good substitute for, you know, lemonade. Oh, it is something yummy. Like that. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's kind of like a, it's like a much better quality tasting uh, alcoholic seltzer. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Without or as like, much sugar. We just use this generic gin. I mean, you could be drinking a gin and sour, and you know that's disgusting. And this adds a, it dials it up a notch. And there, try this one. Yeah, gladly. It's quite yummy. Mm. Yeah, that was tasty. Yeah, I like the rosemary. Let me try this other one, the basil. Do you think that the mm. fresh herbs stand out? I mean, do they kind of give it quite a character? You can at least smell them. I don't know if you I can, necessarily you can taste the fresh rosemary. No, the rosemary for sure. is super strong, so maybe. Well, you kind of taste with your nose, too, in a way. I mean, you, mm -hmm. it adds into it. It's really, it is a unique... Mm -hmm. flavor and it is quite it is quite enjoyable mm -hmm. it is and i yeah i like it feel like you can you know casually sip on it and you're not going to get a headache or anything like that um well the amount of alcohol is low if you just put yeah. it in an ounce now is there some sort of are you aware of any uh i don't know holistic beneficial qualities of these tonics no, i'm not aware but i think she uses i don't know if she uses like organic but well simple and natural ingredients oh here we go this is small print so we have apple cider vinegar which doesn't it's not a strong apple cider vinegar taste to me at all anyway apple cider vinegar sugar lemon water basil lavender salt so very basic simple ingredients I don't know if these will ail something. I, I don't have that expertise, but... Um, Cure an ale. Yeah. Not snake oil. <laughs> it's yeah. mostly probably for enjoyment. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And I know she advertised a lot last year during dry January, you know, because people oh. get sick of just drinking just That's seltzer a good point. water. And yeah. you can dilute the seltzer water. You can make a little, you know mocktail if you have some fresh rosemary uh -huh. in a pot but yeah no this is fun yeah these are really good so far mm -hmm. well okay uh we will maybe we'll do another couple at some point yeah. we don't have to yeah. end this video right now and maybe try another couple recipes mm -hmm. and see what they give us yeah sounds good cheers cheers we're back we got we actually have three more of these, but we're just going to do a couple more. What are we going to do first? We'll do this one. So this is the Spice Cherry and Orange Tonic, and she has a suggested recipe on the bottle. New Old Fashioned Recipe. It calls for one ounce of the concentrate, two ounces of bourbon, a splash of sparkling water, plus cherry, plus, plus orange peel garnish. Okay, well... We are winging this, and I didn't uh, read any of these recipes ahead of time. I have no, I didn't acquire all the proper things, but we happen to have some of the stuff. We do have a bourbon type whiskey. Well, it looks like it's one of your fancy ones. We do have sparkling waters. We're doing half of the tonic. Do you want me to get a fork or spoon? cherries. Two is fine. Two cherries. Sparkling waters. Mm -hmm. so this is this one. Get a shot of this if we can. Okay, spice, cherry, orange. we can do the other one huh yeah and then we'll taste it sure the next one is ginger lime and peppercorn concentrate and the suggested recipe is a moscow mule one ounce concentrate one ounce vodka four ounces of sparkling water okay so we 
checked my little silver measuring thing as an ounce. Healthy ounce of vodka, right Beth? Here, we'll keep that one over there. Oh yeah, we were taking a taste of those before. Well, if you like. Oh yeah, it does. Ginger and lime. Ginger, lime, and peppercorn. This mm -hmm. is the next one. Well, I'll start with the Moscow Mule since that's always a favorite of mine. Is that that one? Mm -hmm. Okay. Cheers. Cheers. Thanks again, Leah. Does it? Mm -hmm. This one I'm Minus getting. all the sugary ginger ale. Mm. This one does have a spicy note. I wonder what the. It says spiced cherry. I don't know if it's cloves or something, but you do get. And I get a little bit of the orange character also. Yeah, I just got a bite of ginger, which happens a lot with the ginger beers. But that's. In the tonic, though, right? The mm -hmm. seltzer is neutral. Mm -hmm. It's yummy. You got the limes in there. I like that one. It smells like an old fashioned. That one? Maybe it's bourbon. Mm. It's nice and light. Yeah. I like the. <laughs> I like old fashions, but they're often so sugary and heavy. Yeah. Do you get the a spice character in that one a little bit, mm -hmm. or the orange? I think so. Alright, there is a... I get that ginger note. I mean, we've dumped lime in there, but there's also... Oh, there's also lime essence or whatever in the tonic. Spice cherry. It's a little limey, a little gingery. Also very nice. I mean, these are all four of these that we've done have made up very nice. Mm -hmm. uh, and easy cocktails. This, we're not going to do this one right now and maybe not put it on video, but pineapple, turmeric, and gelatino. So there you go. Yeah, I like this old fashioned one a lot. Yeah. I think, think I like it more than. So the mix of Wendy's was, I believe, a Leah recipe originally. Mm. So I, there's a little bit reminiscent, but this is a lot. Lighter and less heady. Yeah, well, we like. also realized that we, I was, we were using too much of it. Right. And just to give it a little dose of it would be yeah. like almost like a tonic, just a little concentrated charge. Mhm. Mm yeah. Everything we've tried is yeah, unique. There's sort of a mm -hmm. consistent quality of flavor. <clears throat> yeah. So she sense. must make them a similar way and then sort of just tweak mm -hmm. the batches with whatever botanical yeah. spices essences. Yeah, I think it's interesting they all have this, the apple cider vinegar in it, but, and you can smell it, but you can't, I don't feel like you can taste it as much, but yeah. Yeah. Well, that was really Great. fun. Yeah. So we'll put the website below in the description, but it is, what is it, sweet? Sweet Haven Tonics, and I know she was doing 20% off and free shipping over $65, I think. I don't know if she's trying to get people to order ahead of the holidays or oh. something, but... Sweet Haven Tonics, Google it, made in New Ulm, Minnesota. Where shells is made. There you go. Mm -hmm. So, I guess I'll do it for now. We'll uh, and green belt. enjoy the rest of these. Sweet Haven Tonics. There you go. Mm -hmm. Alright, catch you later.